Welcome back to the Boys Gurus Boys Report. Today I am doing a mock draft, uh, the first ever here uh, for these YouTube videos that I've been doing. Um, and so with that, uh, we don't have a first round pick, everybody knows that. Um, at pick 51, I am like totally up in the air. Uh, we've interviewed, I mean, I kind of know where the position is going to go. It's going to be either receiver, defensive back, or um, or outside linebacker. Uh, but I don't see um, as to who's going to be that guy. So that's like, it, it's, it's really tricky. I mean, I have, you know... You know, throughout this whole series, I've been going through names, um, and I, I do think we're going to select quite a few of the names that I've been going through. And so, without further ado, let's get started. So, I'm going to do this mock draft with the assumption there's no trades. I, however, do expect us to move down, which is going to drive all boys fans crazy, down from 51, uh, staying in the, in the second round and selecting the guy that they like. Um, that's probably projected about 10 slots or so below the 51 slot. So, you know, they might be able to do that, recoup a, a fourth, and then package two of the fourths to get a third. Um, so it'll work out really good. Or get a fifth, get two fifths, add a fourth, uh, doing a two for one down the road uh, with the already multiple picks that we got going on. So, um, It'll, it'll suck because it'll delay the pick, and especially since they're doing the draft like later to this year than, than normal. Um, but I think it'll be good in the long run. So, um, like I said, no trades, even though I do expect us to move down in round two. Uh, without further ado, let's get it going. So, pick number one is a need of ours. It's been a need for ours since the days of Brock Marion. Uh, and that's a free safety ball hawking type. Now, uh, this guy isn't necessarily, um, he's going to be kind of utilized a little bit differently than the traditional free safety. Um, there's, I'm going to put some links on, uh, on the side, I think it's on that side, um, in, you know, with the little article I'm going to put together as far as the star position that's been discussed. Um, I think it's just a, a label of such of a safety that can cover a receiver. I mean, it's as simple as that. Some some teams have that kind of guy. Um, most teams don't. So uh, the safety is Darcel McBath from Texas Tech. Um, there's I saw some videos on other th other things besides YouTube uh, interviews with him, um, draft prep interviews with his coordinator. Um, I think it's Meta Cafe or Trubio, one of those two. And it discusses his versatility. He's got a great vertical leap. He's faced, you know, great receivers in practice for, for his career. Um, wide open Big 12 offenses. He's a ball hawk. I, I think he'll fit in really, really nicely into that position. Round three, Jason Williams. I discussed him earlier. I think uh, having that Kevin Burnett nickel linebacker with some range and that can do some coverage. Uh, is going to be crucial. This guy is more of that kind of linebacker as opposed to the traditional outside linebackering, you know, elephant hybrid type of guy where he's going to, you know, get down and, and rush the passer like a Cody Brown or Lawrence Sidbury or Larry English, some of those small school guys. Uh, this guy is more of a speedy linebacker. Um, probably a great fit in one of those, you know, Tampa 2 schemes. But with us, he could fit with us as well. Round four, first pick of round four. This guy, I hope he's around, he is moving up, uh, and that's Sebastian Vollmer, a tackle from Houston. I'd rather us wait and try to grab this guy than use a high two on someone like, say, uh, Phil Lodhall. This guy kind of has a lot of shades of Michael Ruse from the, the, the Titans, who's kind of a late guy, uh, foreigner, going into football, uh, I mean, this guy is cut. He don't even look like an offensive lineman. He looks more like a WWE superstar uh, than an offensive lineman. You know, no no fat on him. He's just a big dude. He's kind of like Igor Olshansky, big dude kind of guy. Um, so Sebastian Vollmer and Igor Olshansky going at it in practice would be kind of cool. 
he's the guy that will make this draft if we if we select him because I think he could be the heir apparent to to Flozell at that left tackle position. Round four, the second pick in round four, Patrick Turner. We have to select the receiver. We may even do it earlier. Um, Robisky was interviewed. Uh, Massaquai, both of those are, are second round projection guys. Uh, Brandon Tate is, is second, third. So there's a very distinct possibility we're going to select a receiver on one of those picks. Um, I'm thinking we're going to hold off and try to select Turner on day two. Um, he's, he's good. He's a good player. Um, USC guys I'm not big on, but I, I like this guy. He, he's a hands catcher. I, he, when you see him catch the ball, it's very much like Larry Fitzgerald. I mean, I'm not saying he is Larry Fitzgerald, but the way he catches the ball is very similar. Uh, even his movements are. I mean, he's no Larry Fitzgerald, so don't, don't, you know, nobody blast me here. I'm not saying he is, but there, there are some, some similarities there. Um, let's see, round five. Now, I don't think this guy is going to last to round five. Uh, but Jason Phillips, I think, is going to be a cowboy. Um, be it if he, if round four is coming around and they kind of get word that that uh, he's not going to be around after, they may select him and not turn uh, not Turner. Um, the only reason why I put Turner in this mock draft is because we've already selected a linebacker in Williams. So that's that's my my logic there. Uh, round five, another guy. I think he's going to be here, but um, he may not be. Roy Miller from Texas, one of my favorites. Um, round six, we've got Tom Brand State, our QB, Fresno State. Um, a six-round QB is nothing more really than a developmental guy, and you, you you hope you hit on him like a Tom Brady. I mean, he's now the poster boy uh, for all those six-rounders. Um, I like Fresno's program. I, I just I like what Pat Hill does over there. He, he has NFL-ready players. So... Um, you know, this, this guy's pretty mature, so good guy there. Uh, let's see, we got Robert Brewster, Ball State. He's kind of an offensive tackle, small school, you know, projects probably more to guard. Uh, we've interviewed him. Uh, and then the round seven, there's the guys in round seven, actually, like Dan Scooter, linebacker, Grand Valley State. Uh, very versatile. You can go inside, you can go outside. You know, I know, oh, what's three linebackers doing here? Well, we need depth. We, we got a bunch of bums besides our starters. Uh, that are nothing more than than waiver wire fodder, in my opinion. And we need to we need to upgrade those positions, give them some competition. Worst case scenario, you could throw these guys in the practice squad. Um, let's see, round seven, uh, Tony Carter with our second one. Uh, this guy is a smallish corner, but he's got really great physical skills. Um, we've been doing a lot of drafting these kind of guys. I think Courtney Brown was like that. Alan Ball was like that. Um, you know, the guys that that are very fast. Uh, maybe needs to put on a little bit, of, a little bit of weight, and um, you know he may turn out. He, he's he's got he's got the physical skill set. Bryce McCain is another name to look for there, and then the last guy I think we're gonna you know the talk of the Wildcat. This guy Julian Edelman, QB from Kent State, um, kind of a poor man's Pat White. Uh, a lot of people think he'll be a priority free agent. I think we use one of our seventh rounders to make sure that nobody else. Um, leapfrogs us and you know takes his services so um, he could be going before then um, that's pretty much it on the mock draft um, guys I like James Casey I'm like praying that we select him I know it's more of a luxury than a need but I just think this guy could be utilized as a serious weapon uh, I like him I like Patrick Chung um, Jairus Bird is another name I kind of like and, and you know keep an eye on him he may be our second round pick uh, and that's just about it. Massaquai, I mean, we've gone through these names. Um, that's what I got for you. Hopefully, you know, put your thoughts there. I'm, I'm going to, you know, I'll, I'll respond to some comments. I'm sure, you know, I'm going to get praised and jeered and all that good stuff um, with some of these picks. But keep an eye on these guys and talk to you later. Peace.